Let's turn to weather now because we've been really treated this week. It's one of those days where you want to get outside and enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> yes, because some rain is heading our way later this week, Kate. Yeah, I think we may pick up a stray sprinkle tomorrow morning, but a better chance comes on Saturday. Now, it doesn't look like a total washout Saturday, but a couple of showers here and there as the cold front comes through. And then we're going to have another refreshing uh, stretch to look forward to starting on Sunday. So let's get there. We'll break it down piece by piece here, starting off with a live look down the shore. Now one thing to mention if you are down the shore this week, I know it's a great week to be down there if you don't have uh, kids in school, but there is a high rip current risk. There's a system developing offshore which will mostly stay away from us, but it is kind of churning up the ocean. So while it is quiet and calm on the Atlantic City boardwalk here this morning, just only swim at those guarded beaches. And remember, after Labor Day, they become kind of few and far between. So definitely make sure you're very careful about where you're swimming down the shore this week. Let's take a look at conditions. Again, it is cool and comfortable. It's 58 degrees in Cape May. It's a little warmer in Atlantic City and Surf City with temperatures in the 60s here. Millville is at 53, Dover at 59. Not too bad this morning, feeling fantastic. Even down in Southern Delaware, we're in the 50s. Comfortable conditions, that's the story this week. And right now, 50 in Philadelphia. We're in the mid 50s in Wilmington and as you head up toward Pottstown and Allentown, that's where we're seeing those temperatures in the 40s this morning. So another day for the kids to grab the sweatshirts and the hoodies early and then again the t-shirts and, and tank tops as they come home. Dress in layers and don't be surprised if you may have to uh, make a trip to be lost and found on back to school night because again, it is one of those shed the layers kind of days. But it is an, another A plus day at the bus stop. 61 degrees at 8 a.m. That's a couple degrees warmer than yesterday. Just a couple, not much, but may notice a slight increase in the in the warmth outside today. We're up to 75 at noon and then 80 degrees at three o'clock. This is just beautiful. If this is your first day of school in your district, the kids are going to love this weather. Hopefully they'll get a nice long recess to be outside and burn off some of that energy being pent up all day. Clouds and radar for the past three hours looks pretty quiet, but there are a few things to discuss here. There's one front moving in from the west. There's a developing low that we're going to watch off to the south, and then there's this system developing out to sea, which for the most part will stay out to sea, but it's a little bit of a squeeze play here. So here's the system developing out over the Atlantic, high pressure in control for us. This system here, this cold front, is the one that's going to bring us the showers on Saturday. As we get into through today, basically, we're quiet. Tomorrow, both of these get a little bit closer. It's a bit of a squeeze play. And because of the way the winds are flowing around these two systems, or almost between them, we're going to draw in a little bit more moisture. So tomorrow, I think we'll start with some clouds, maybe a stray shower. The sun will be out for much of the day as well. Not a washout, certainly, but a stray sprinkle cannot be ruled out. Saturday, that's when this cold front comes through, and it will bring us some shower chances. But the steadiest rain will stay south, and that will help push the coastal system out of here as well. So really, here's what it looks like for us as we zoom in basically kind of to ground level in our area. Nothing today. Today is quiet. It's a full day of sun. Tomorrow morning starts with those clouds rolling in. There may be a sprinkle. Notice it's not much, few and far between, but cannot rule it out tomorrow and into tomorrow night. And then Saturday, we start the day with a lot of cloud cover. Here comes our front by midday into the afternoon. Again, this is not a washout. It's not the nicest day of the week, certainly, but just a couple of sprinkles and showers here and there, and then we clear it out. And after that, take a look at your seven day next weather forecast. It's a reinforcing shot of cool air. So clouds and a couple of showers Saturday. Then we're at a high of just 73 Sunday and a beautiful start to next week.